She's a Jane Doe. The Autopsy of Jane Doe is a 2016 supernatural horror film directed by Andre Overdahl, written by Ian Goldberg and Richard Naying. The corpse of an unidentified young woman is found at the scene of inexplicable multiple homicides. The police take it to bring to Tommy and Austin for an autopsy. Austin, and his father Tommy, is the coroner's in a small town. Austin initially plans to go out with his girlfriend Emma but postpones the plan by a couple of hours to help his dad with the autopsy. Emma leaves, hoping to be back in a few hours. A body's a body. What's that for? Make sure he's dead. We're just here to find cause of death. No more, no less. Sheriff, what happened? He's my help right now. 11 o'clock, I'm all yours. You're hot. No ID. No fingerprints in the system. Press is gonna need answers on this in the morning. Tommy and Austin perform the autopsy and quickly become confused. The first thing they notice is her eyes clouded over as though she had been dead for days. Her wrist and ankle bones had been shattered. Her tongue has been crudely cut out. Her lungs are blackened and her internal organs reveal numerous cuts and scarring, during which they discover a strange white thread in her mouth as well as a missing tooth. Oh, I hadn't expected that. As they prepare for the internal examination, lights flicker, the radio spontaneously changes stations, and Austin believes he sees people standing in the morgue's hallway. He finds their cat, Stanley, mortally wounded. They hear an eerie noise. Austin makes his way down the corridor to find a person, suddenly disappear when he rounds the corner. Continuing the autopsy, Tommy finds the woman's missing tooth wrapped in a piece of cloth in her stomach. The cloth has Roman numerals, letters, and an odd diagram. Similar symbols are found on the inside of her skin. We just finish this in the morning. It looks like some kind of shroud. One thing's for sure, you're not going anywhere. Suddenly, all the lights in the room explode. During the confusion, they realize other corpses in the morgue have gone missing. They decide to leave, but the elevator does not work. An unseen figure leaves bruises on Tommy when he goes to the bathroom. They return to the autopsy room and again examine the corpse. When the door locks itself, Austin hacks it with an emergency axe. Unable to get to the cremation furnace, they set the corpse ablaze in the exam room. All evidence and camera were burned but Jane Doe was physically intact. After this incident certain that Jane Doe's corpse has been preventing them from finding out the truth about her death, Tommy alive. understood that Jane Doe was a witch and the body of Jane Doe lives on to enact revenge on any and all people who attempt to take away her bodily autonomy. Tommy offers himself to Jane Doe as a sacrifice, hoping she will spare Austin. Can Austin or Tommy escape from June Doe? Don't miss it, this is one of the great supernatural horror movies in world cinema. They are a witch, and their blood shall be on their own heads. I won't fight you, but please. Please, don't hurt him. <laughs>